Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to gracefully shut down the Spring Boot application. So first, let's understand what does it mean when we say gracefully shutting down the Spring Boot application. So for that, I am having very simple Spring Boot application over here. One test controller having one git API slash hello and I am returning one simple text hello in pbus.com. Okay. The main class is here and in the pom.xml, we are having the required dependencies for the Spring Boot. And the Spring Boot version, which I am using is 2.7.18. One thing you need to keep in the mind is that when you want to use the graceful shutdown feature provided by Spring Boot, you should have at least Spring Boot version 2.3 or newer. If you try in the older version, basically older than 2.3, right, then this will not work. So please keep this in the mind. Okay, now let's go to our test controller, put a debug point over here where we are returning this one and run the Spring Boot application in the debug mode. Why we are running a Spring Boot application in a debug mode and why we have a debug point over here, you will get an idea. Okay, so clear the logs, let's jump to browser and hit this API. Now let's go to STS in the console, clear the logs. Okay, so during this time, right, this moment, this request is still under the process. Our Spring Boot application is yet to return the response to consumer, right? So this request is still under the process, okay? And our Tomcat server is running. Now what if we shut down our embedded Tomcat server? Or let's say we shut down our Spring Boot application, okay? So let's shut down. And let's have a look, okay, all these logs. It got stopped, okay? So see, we requested for the application shutdown. When? Let's look at the time. 15, 48 seconds. Okay, and within three seconds, the application got stopped. Basically, embedded Tomcat server got stopped. Now, what happened to the request which was in the progress? Right? Still, this process, when we shut down the Tomcat, right? It was in the process. Right? So, what consumer got? They got the error. Connection refuse. They will get any other error, maybe connection timeout or whatever. But the thing is, our consumers, right, basically the application consumers will get impacted. So this shutdown, right, which happened within 2-3 seconds, this is immediate shutdown. And this is the default behavior provided by Spring Boot. And this we want to change to graceful shutdown. And this is what we will see in this video. So in graceful shutdown, what happens? It will not be immediate shutdown. But instead of that, it will wait for some specific time. Let's say 30 seconds, which is the default one. Okay. So for 30 seconds, our Spring Boot application will wait when after you request for shutdown. So it will wait for 30 seconds so that your all requests, which are under the process gets completed. This is default 30 second and you can change that as well. Okay. That also we will see in this video. So it will allow some time for your all requests which are under the process by your application to get completed. Now when I'm saying all requests, that means all requests and related threads as well. Okay. Because it may be possible that for one request, you have multiple threads. For processing one request, you may be either having uh, multiple threads with the thread pool or let's say you are using the async provided by Spring Boot. So when I'm saying all the requests, that means all requests and its related threads. So it will wait for some specific time so that all get completed. But beyond that time, it will not wait. Okay. Even if let's say after 30 seconds, okay, that is the specified time. After that, still your request, some requests are under the process. It will not wait further. So beyond that time, it will not wait, right? Otherwise it will be infinite loop and never your Spring Boot application will get shut down. Okay. So this is the graceful shutdown. Now why we need to have graceful shutdown? So the thing is, when you deploy your Spring Boot application in production, right? You may be either deploying a newer version or let's say you are just doing the restart of the same version. In both the cases, what will happen? First, your application will go shut down, right? And then it will get up. So basically first shut down and then start. So what will happen during that time, right? Whatever requests are under the process will get impacted. And if you have a huge traffic, right? Then your consumers will see high number of errors. Just like just now I show you, right? This kind of thing. So to have the minimal impact on your consumers, you should use graceful shutdown in your Spring Boot application. Now let's see how to use the 
graceful shutdown okay so for that we have to change the default immediate shutdown to graceful so go to application dot properties and we need to set one property that is server dot shutdown okay set it as graceful okay go to this property you can see the default value as immediate okay this is an enum you can open this enum and there are only two values one graceful and another one is immediate so the default one is immediate and now we are changing it to graceful and as i said earlier the default grace time is 30 seconds okay that means when we have graceful set down our spring boot application will wait for 30 seconds after we request for the set down okay so that all requests which are under the process get completed let's see okay how it works so let me close this one now again let's run our spring boot application in a debug mode okay here we have a debug point so our application is getting started and we will hit this get api let's go to sts first clear all the logs okay so this request is still under the process okay now let's stop our embedded tomcat server or let's say you can say let's stop our spring boot application so this graceful one okay is applicable for any of the embedded servers provided by spring boot here i am using embedded tomcat but this is same for embedded jetty or embedded netty basically whatever embedded servers provided by spring boot so let's stop our spring boot application okay now let's have a look at the logs see application set down requested but it is not getting set down immediately you see 2140 we requested but still what it is saying in the logs commencing graceful set down okay waiting for active requests to get completed okay so it will wait for 30 seconds so around 2140 we requested right so 2230 2210 sorry okay 30 seconds if we had see now it is getting set down not immediately okay so this is the time when we requested for the set down okay if you look at it, the logs we requested commencing graceful set down and when it got stopped see the logs 2210 just after 30 seconds okay and that is mentioned too in the logs as well you can see time out of 30000 milliseconds which is 30 second so this is graceful set down in which it is waiting for some specific time so that our all requests get completed but what if before that all requests get completed let's say within 10 seconds then should it wait for another 20 seconds or not let's see okay so let's run our spring boot application in the debug mode again and we will do the same thing but this time what we will do after some time we will do release from the debug point we will process it okay so let's hit this api so we got inside the debug point now let's wait for some time okay first clear the logs request for the shutdown okay and this request is still under the process right now let's do f8 basically release from here within few second okay so before 30 seconds basically all requests get completed so it will not wait till 30 seconds see what it is saying application shutdown requested when see when the shutdown requested 23 25 right 23 minute 25 second and within 13 seconds all the requests get completed right so then it is getting set down it is not waiting for 30 seconds exactly so basically 30 seconds is the upper limit if before that all requests get completed it will set down but beyond 30 second it will not wait okay and this also you can change the default 30 second right you can change so for that one you have to set one property spring dot life cycle time out per set down phase let's say we want to have it as 10 second okay instead of 30 second we are setting it as 10 second again we have to run the spring boot application in the debug mode let's run our spring boot application in the debug mode and we will do the same thing we will hit this api okay clear the logs now let's request for the set down okay now let's see for how many seconds it is going to wait so that our all requests get completed okay so when we requested 
So 26 should be shut down. See, exactly after 10 seconds, it is getting shut down. Now you can change these two minutes as well. Okay, for example, one minute. So you can do like this as well. So this really depends on your application and how much traffic it is having per second. If you have a huge traffic per second, then you need more time so that when you request for the shutdown, it will allow your resources to complete and you know process all the requests which are in progress. Okay, so this is up to you how much time you need for your Spring Boot application to have the grace period so that it can process all the requests which are in progress. This example we have seen with the embedded Tomcat server, but this is applicable for all the embedded servers provided by Spring Boot. Like I said earlier, embedded JT, embedded NetT and others. And one more thing you need to keep in the mind is that this is only available from the Spring Boot version 2.3 and newer, not in the older versions. So this is how you can gracefully shut down the Spring Boot application. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.